All right, this is me doing brick anew. I'm doing the Misty Frost, I think it's called. This is actually, I just finished putting on the first color. I did the base coat, which sort of went on. It looked like a light gray almost. I went over white brick. I have some pictures that I'll post. I didn't take any video of the first color because, to be honest, it really didn't seem to make much sense, and I really wasn't thinking about videoing it. But basically, with this color, um kind of looks cool. It kind of looks whitewashed. It's weird, though. It's like a, um, I guess like a light taupe it almost looks like. Um, that's the way it goes on, sort of like a, a light taupey color. I still have the glaze and the other pieces to do, so I guess we'll see what it looks like when it's done. All right, I'm going to start with the glaze now. The color I'm using is Misty Harbor. The glaze looks sort of like a and it almost looks like battleship gray, I would say. The funny part is I only have one color on in the base, and the color actually looks pretty good the way it is. But I'm going to try these other things because the finished product online looks a lot better. So let's wait and see. All right, this is it after the glaze is on. So I have the base, I have color one, and now the glaze. The glaze doesn't seem to help anything with the color, but I'm assuming what will happen is the next two colors are probably going to be lighter, and this will become more of a shadow, I guess. That's the only thing I can assume. Because um, it doesn't seem to help the color. Oddly enough, it looks more like brick now than it did before, but, um, you know, it's kind of weird. My house is faces southwest. We're right over by the water, and um, I get a, the sun beats on the front of the house, so... When I was doing this before, it may look a lot different just because now the sun's kind of gone down behind the house behind me, which helps because it was so hard to see before. I actually had to wear sunglasses while I was doing it to figure out what was done and what wasn't. But I don't know, hopefully these next two colors are really going to you know, bring it together. All right, this is my last video for today anyway. I just put on color number two. So I have color number the base, color number one, the glaze, and color number two on. Um, and now it's kind of, it just, it's basically dusk, so I'm done for tonight. I can't put the last color on, which is too bad. Uh, if I would have started a little bit earlier today, I probably would have been able to at least finish. And I really would like to see the last finished color. With this on, um, I think the glaze makes the underlying color too dark, the glaze for the shadow. I almost would have been happier, I think if I skipped the glaze or went very very light on the glaze and just did color number one very light on the glaze and color number two the glaze I guess I'll see better when the last color is on because I guess that's even lighter so maybe that'll give it more shadows but um this is where we're at so far I mean you know it's hard to tell I guess until it's done you know it looks you know, it looks all right. It, you know, it looks better than what I had before, better than the original. But right now, I'm not loving it. I'm liking it. Um, anyway, that's it. All right, it's Sunday morning now, and I just tried putting on some of the last color, color number three. Um, this one, they tell you in the instructions to put on with a sponge and kind of wipe it from the side. Um, I also saw somebody else's video online that said she put it on and then kind of wiped it off with a rag. I guess to give it more of a whitewash look. I've only done a few of the bricks. Um, and that's what I did. I kind of put it on and just wiped it off. And I guess it gives it more of a whitewash, but I don't think it helps it. So I've done a little tiny section and I'm going to wait till the sun hits this. Uh, It'll come around the house in a couple of hours, but I don't even think I'm going to put on the last color. I think it looks better without it. I had my wife look at it this morning, and she pretty much thinks the same thing. So if that's the case, except for the, the clear matte finish that I'm going to put on to, uh, to protect it, I think I'm pretty much done. And it looks nice. It did not come out like I thought at all, and I think part of that is the... Um, I think you need to be careful with the glaze depending on how dark you want it. Now my wife likes the dark contrast. She thinks, you know, that's what kind of makes it look nice and washed out. 
and to be honest, I'd kind of go over more of it. Um, but if she's happy, I'm certainly not going to change it. I think it looks nice, um, but it's it didn't come out at all like the one they had online. Now, I know every brick's different. I started off with white, so, you know. Um, but I think that's it. You know, it looks nice. It, it looks nice. It looks different. Um, the kit's expensive, except for that. I think, you know, I think it's a pretty good way to go. If I didn't do this, to be honest, I don't know what else I would have done.